What's up YouTube? I know there's a bunch of these online, but I decided last minute to do a quick video of my Vortex on a budget. Uh, now we're a big haunt, number one in the state, but we are non-profit. All of our money goes to the diocese to support the youth, which is great. But needless to say, we have a small budget, just like many of you. Also, just like many of you, I did months of research on the build. Um, kind of took bits and pieces from a couple different designs to make this one. The build probably cost us about $250 to $300. Um, but why don't we talk about the bridge? Uh, both railings are lagged in to a 2x8 because uh, when people go through this thing, they're going to be leaning heavily on one of these railings. So they definitely need to be sturdy. Uh, all the electrical is hardwired. We even have an emergency light in there. Now the bridge itself is six two by eights on edge, um, so that can support a ton of weight, uh, four by four for legs. Only supported at the front and at the back, as you can see, nothing in the middle. They are pretty strict with building code, um, so we didn't bother with stairs. We actually made a two level ramp uh, kind of system to get on and off this thing. Now we're going to head back to the front and I will show you the skeleton of the tunnel, which was um, not too hard to make actually. Uh, we used electrical PVC conduit. It's the gray PVC. It's a little more flexible than the white and also it presses together pretty easily. Um, let me find a connection. There we go. So we didn't even glue it. We used this U-bracket, um, two screws into the PVC and one through the EMT conduit which connects to three rings um, to hold it in place um, and this whole thing is designed to come apart and to be rebuilt which is one of the goals we had we had actually used more PVC to connect the three rings at first but it was uh, it had way too much give so when we turned the motor on this thing was jumping the track a lot You'll notice this really thin cable here. This um, actually does nothing for support. Uh, we just put that there to help hold um, the shape of the fabric since there's only three main rails that keep all of the rings attached together. Now we're going to take a look at the track that this rolls on. So I use the bike wheels. That's like the number one idea that I've seen on every build. Um, these are about 20 or 22 inch. Um, three all the way down. We also got some smaller wheels on the walls and on the floor. Um, now, because it's PVC, it's cost effective, but it also kind of bows down on itself, which is why we put wheels on the wall to help it keep the circular shape. And it's working out very well. Now I'm going to show you how this thing runs. This was actually the cheapest part of the build because it was free. If you're like me and you have a treadmill sitting in your basement collecting dust, pull the motor out of it, make a vortex with it. So this is a treadmill motor. Uh, pulled it right out of there. We actually kept the controls. This is connected to the center bike wheel with a serpentine belt. I uh, picked up a 60 inch serpentine belt at AutoZone for about $10. And you can see the control board here. Uh, the duct tape kind of blocks um, that dial there from going too high because we don't want the tunnel spinning so fast it comes off the tracks. I am going to show you video of it running, uh, but quick recap. So your bridge is six 2x8s on edge. That's your platform with um, 3 8 plywood on top for the floor. Also the railings are lagged into the platform. Those are just 2x4s. 2x6 uh, runs down the bridge um, to make up the handrails with another 2x4 on top. The bridge is all 16 foot lumber. Now the rings, each ring is three 10 foot lengths of 3 quarter inch electrical conduit. And your track is made up of six 20 inch bicycle wheels, six smaller wheels directly under the bridge and six smaller wheels on the walls to help keep shape. So now I'll show you this thing running. So it runs extremely smooth. The only uh, noise it makes is when um, where the electrical conduit PVC pieces that make up the rings, when they come together, uh, there's a little lip. And when that bumps over the metal wheels on the walls, it's a little loud, but I mean, we're going to have a giant speaker behind this, so they're not even going to hear it, but it does run very smooth. Here's a shot from the other side. Uh, now, many of you are probably asking what we're going to use for fabric. We're actually not going to use fabric. We're going to use the same flame retardant uh, roofing material that we put over the entire house. Um, as you see, we got quite a bit of ground to cover. 
This is our first time attempting uh, this vortex at our haunt. We've talked about it for years and finally just said, you know what, let's just do it. I'm very happy with how it went. Um, took three, four weeks maybe, uh, a couple nights a week coming in, put this together. So um, leave some comments, you get any questions, if you want to critique my work, I'm all ears. I'll do my best to get back to all of you and thanks for watching.